It's a beautiful morning in Rome. It is the day of the canonization of Titus Bransma from the Netherlands and nine other blessed. I'm heading to the Vatican, to St. Peter's Square, together with a few friends that I've met here in Rome and I'm so looking forward to it. The only thing that would make this morning more perfect would be breakfast, coffee. <laughs> We're hoping to get a cup of coffee here, but it's closed on Sundays. Seriously? This one is open. <sighs> coffee. Mm, praise the Lord. <laughs> We just walked through a first security check. I've never seen that before, even before we get to St. Peter's Square. And it was just a quick check of our bags. And, uh, and you couldn't take your water with you. So I hope they have water for all those people that are gonna stand there for two hours in the sun. This is the second security check. It's a bit like uh, at the airport. Wow, here we are. What a gorgeous day. It's a bit hectic here. We need to be with our friends over there, but the security doesn't want us to uh, to pass here because otherwise everybody will will move there. So now someone needs to go and pick us up here so that they know that we have a reserved seat. Thank you so much for coming to fetch us. We were very nervous that we couldn't get in anymore. <laughs> nerve-wracking here. It's already so crowded here. I'm, I'm very, very happy that our friends have reserved us some seats. Otherwise, we would never be able to get anywhere close. Morning! Morning. <laughs> Whoa! It's getting really, really warm here on St. Peter's Square. But at the same time, it's so good to be here. Mass is going to begin in about half an hour from now. But usually, Pope Francis will arrive earlier. It's a tradition that the portraits of the blessed that will be canonized are attached to the facade of St. Peter's Basilica, but there are too many of them. There are 10 and there's only room for five, so they combined their portraits. Pope Francis is going to arrive any minute now, and I am here with a lot of pilgrims from Friesland. That's the area in the Netherlands that Titus Bransma is from, so I think that this is the best place to be for the canonization. So to our surprise, Pope Francis arrived 10 minutes early. I think that a lot of people working in broadcasting that were transmitting this live are gonna be a little bit upset. Oh well. So the canonization ritual has begun and it starts with the formal request to Pope Francis to canonize these 10 blessed and then someone is actually giving a short summary of their life and of their merits, the reason why the church believes that these are saints. Brasma morì martire a Cau, Germania. Nato nei Paesi Bassi nel 1881, religioso carmelitano e sacerdote. Beatos Titum Brasma. Di Vasasiano. Cesare in debus. Aloisio Maria Palazzuoli. Cristino Maria Rossolini. And this is it. Pope Francis has declared these ten blessed saints for the entire Universal Church. They are now bringing relics from the ten new saints to the altar. Of course, Titus Bronspa died in Dachau in a concentration camp. There are no remains of him left. Instead, they're bringing a portrait forward to the Pope. The 
first part of the celebration was very formal with lots of Latin, but during the homily, Pope Francis becomes very personal. And so he told us that it's our identity to be loved by God. And the saints are a reflection of this luminous love of God, and we're all called to that holiness. This is not something just for a few people. We're all called to it. And there is no saint that is a photocopy of another saint. We are all called to be saints in our own way. It was a really beautiful, very personal homily with lots of little anecdotes. Uh, that's what I love about Pope Francis. He does that fantastically. I have to say that I was moved when, during the Eucharistic prayer, we heard the names of these 10 new saints. And from now on, they are venerated by the entire Universal Catholic Church all over the world. What, a, what an amazing day for the Netherlands. We're so proud of our Titus Brandsma and we're so glad that he is now praying for us in heaven. He was already probably praying for us, but now we acknowledge that he is a saint. It's, it's fantastic. And now, of course, we hope that Pope Francis is going to make a tour of St. Peter's Square so we can wave at him. Here's hoping. Congratulations! <laughs> that was so great. That was Etienne from France and his young boy, uh, Charles. And so they took the baby and the Pope kissed their kid. How amazing is that? It was wonderful. Yeah? Yeah. What, what did you like the most? I think it um, being together with all those people from all around the world and then celebrating, well, it is. It's wonderful and it's really, it is also a boost for your self-esteem by your beliefs because there are young people, old people, it doesn't matter because we believe in the same and that's, I think that's beautiful. You brought a flag, can you show it to me? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that is Titus Bransma, is that from your parish? Yeah, this is our parish logo. Fantastic! <laughs> And now that the ceremony of the canonization and the mass are over, people are heading home to refresh themselves, drink something, because it's been scorchingly hot here on St. Peter's Square. The Pope is also probably going to his pranzo. It was a wonderful morning, and I was glad that you were here with us. Thanks for watching.